What's good, greatness gang? Welcome back to another reaction. And today I have a very special reaction from the one and only, the legendary, the late great Mr. George Carlin. Yes, now, I don't know too much about his work, but I know that he's was highly regarded as one of the greatest of all time. I heard a little bit of his stuff, but I haven't seen all of this yet. This is called Seven Dirty Words, but uh, I was told that I really need to check this out and react to it. And a few of you all had told me that I need to get up on George Carlin. So here we are. This is called Seven Dirty Words. Uh. Let me see if I can guess what seven dirty words is he's going to say. I can't even think of seven. That might be a bad thing, but uh, let's get into this clip. You know, that's the trouble with it is trying to decide what to call these words, man. I'm trying to decide what to call this whole thing. You know, what are these words that I'm talking about? They're just words that we've decided, sort of decided, not to use all the time. That's about the only thing you can really say about them for sure. That they're just some words, not many either, just a few, that we've decided, well, we won't use them all the time. Sometimes, well, hell yeah. Sometimes it's okay, but not all the time. That's, and they're the only words that seem to have that restriction. I mean, there are a lot of words you can say whenever you want, you know. Pneumonia! Nobody gives you a lot of words. All right, you can't yell it in the hospital a great deal, but what the hell? There are words that you can say, no problem. Topography! No one has ever gone to jail for screaming topography. But there are some words that you can go to jail for. There are some words that we just have decided we will not say all the time. Sometimes, okay, if you're running through the jungle chasing somebody that we're at war with, you can holler them. If you're shooting a criminal, it's okay, it's the all-American thing. Dirty fucking crook. <laughs> but if you're with the bishop's wife at lunch, it's better not to ask for the goddamn lettuce. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's just like we've decided there'd be some words we won't say all the time. And I was just trying to find out which words they were. For sure. All of them. I wanted a list. Because nobody gives you a list. I like his energy. I like his build up. He's, he's not. He's not hitting you with really heavy jokes from jump. But his energy is it pulls you in immediately. He, he got you anticipating, got you waiting. And I feel like. A lot of comedians can't do that. But like he got me excited to like, OK, what's the words? What's the words? Like, I, I like I like this the way he's piecing it all together um, immediately from jump. That's the problem. They don't give you a list. Wouldn't you think it'd be normal if they didn't want you to say something? it's like it's, it's kind of like he's talking to children in a way. Don't you know how someone tells children stories? And they get the kids so exciting to hear the exciting part or the scary part. But it's like he, he's talking to adults in a childlike way right now to really hold their attention, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to tell you what it is. Nobody even tells you when you're a kid what the words are that you're supposed to avoid. You have to say them to find out which ones they are. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> That's two. That's enough trial and error. Hold on, that was a good point. You gotta say it to find out that you can't say it. The, the irony. Which ones they are? Shit! <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> that's that's two. Two. <laughs> Oh, my, that's enough trial and error, huh? It's too, Please, too many. Ma, give me a list, huh? <laughs> All right, you're six years old now. And here's the list of words your dad and I don't ever want to hear you say. Oh, hey, thanks, Ma. Boy, that's going to save me an ass kicking or two. It's going to save you seven. Oh. Yeah, you never know what's going to be on the list. Because it's always somebody else's list. Right, and, and we're living in 2024. 
that list now is definitely way more than seven words. Probably 700. You didn't make that up. Somebody told you that shit. They told you better. You better not say that. So you gotta... And you don't know what's gonna be on their list. God. People's lists even change from day to day. Some people on Friday night got a list, you know, not about two or three words. Sunday morning, goddamn, they make 27 words. On <laughs> These are the same people two days later. Different list. So you got to kind of watch out what you're going to believe from them. The trouble is, I was trying to find out what these words might be. And I wanted to know the ones that you could never say on television. I mean the filthy words that are always filthy. There are a lot of these little two-way, double entendre words that have two meanings. Words that are okay part of the time. I call them like part-time filth. Some of these words, they're only 50% dirty. You have words like ass. Ass is hardly even a dirty word anymore, but it has a few meanings that you can't say on television. That's what I was talking about. What can you say on television? That's another one of those places where we can't use these words all the time. But some of them are all right some of the time. Ass is all right on television. You can say on television things like, well, you've made a perfect ass of yourself tonight. But you can't say, hey, let's go get some ass. <laughs> Bitch, bitches. It's crazy because I was watching a, a Marvel movie recently and I realized it had profanity in it. But I'm like, isn't a lot of these movies aimed towards children? So I was kind of confused. I'm like, sometimes profanity is okay. Sometimes it's not like. Bitch. Bitch is another word like that. Same kind of word. It's the only dirty part of the time. Depends on what you mean by bitch. You might be the lady from the San Diego Zoo visiting one of the Tonight Shows, and you might just have a bunch of little canines with you there. One of them is a female. You say, there's the bitch, Johnny, and it's okay, fine. Just don't refer to the singer the same way. That's all. <laughs> is that bitch going to do another number? Yes. <laughs> Animals are fine on those two-way words. And that's it. That's what I was trying to find. The words that were always dirty, not just part of the time. But completely filled. Well, in, in looking for these words, I kept finding new categories. We have so many ways of describing these dirty words. It's, well, we have more ways to describe dirty words than we actually have dirty words. That seems a little strange to me. It seems to indicate that somebody was awfully interested in these words. They kept referring to them. They called them bad words, dirty. Filthy, foul, vile, vulgar, coarse, <laughs> in poor taste, unseemly, street talk, gutter talk, locker room language, <laughs> barracks talk, body, naughty, saucy, raunchy, rude, crude, lewd, lascivious, indecent, profane, obscene, blue, off color, <laughs> risque, suggestive. I can see that he was very intelligent. Just for someone to take something, a topic so simple, and like really break this down and really go into detail and give simple uh, examples that we overlook every day. Like I can tell he was a very intelligent man. <laughs> Cursing, cussing, swearing, and all I could think of was shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cock, suck a motherfucker, and tits. That's all I hear. Hold on, hold on. This guy. Street talk, gutter talk, locker room language, <laughs> barracks talk, body, naughty, saucy, raunchy. Rude, crude, lewd, lascivious, indecent, profane, obscene, blue, off color, <laughs> risque, suggestive, <laughs> cursing, cussing, swearing, and all I could think of was shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. <laughs> That's all I hear. I, I like his delivery. <clears throat> I don't mean to keep pausing it, but I like his delivery. Like, when he's naming all the synonyms like he's going slow and he's saying them in different animated type of voices then when he say the naughty words he say them really fast and all in monotone like that's this this is a performance here he's not just telling jokes i like comedians like this 
shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. That was my original list. I knew it wasn't complete, but it was a starter set, you know? <laughs> shit, piss, fuck, yes, WBAI is the one who played them. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. Now, that was the original list. We've added a few words since then. We've added fart, turd, and twat. <laughs> And I know there are some other words that many of you are wondering about, why they haven't been considered, why they haven't shown up on the list thus far. We're looking at them all very closely. Some of your favorites might make the list this year. <laughs> Asshole, ball bag, hard on, piss hard, blue balls, taint, nookie, snatch box, pussy, pecker, pecker head, pecker tracks, jism, joint, doniker, dork, poontang. Cornhole and Dingleberry. <laughs> dingleberry, a very popular word. And to my way of thinking, Dingleberry, a rather innocent sounding word. Dingleberry sounds Christmassy to me, you know. <laughs> Let's put one on the tree, Dad. <laughs> so the words, as I say, shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, tits, fart, turd, and twat. Now, motherfucker came off the list immediately. The first day, in fact, I had a call from an English language purist. Some guy had to... For some reason, that always... Out of all the dirty words I've heard, that one is always very... Uh, just so in your face, I don't know why. He had to talk, you know, he got on the phone. He tells me I have a duplicate on my list. I have a duplication. He says, motherfucker is a duplication of the word fuck, technically. Because fuck is the root form, motherfucker being derivative, therefore it constitutes duplication. And I said, hey, motherfucker, how did you get my phone number anyway? I didn't even know I had phone. I said, look, man, it may be derivative, but you still can't say it. You still can't say motherfucker on TV, can you? He said, no, but you can't say fucky, fucking, fuckola, fuckaroonie, or fuckerino either. <laughs> well, I said, yeah, that would crowd up my list some often. <laughs> so I just struck that motherfucker away. <laughs> struck it from the list. Motherfucker was gone. Now the list was shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, tits. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, tits. Does it sound like something's missing? The sound like an old friend is gone. <laughs> Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, tits. Remember the old rhythm? Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, tits. Cocksucker, motherfucker, tits. Cocksucker, motherfucker, tits. Cocksucker, motherfucker, tits. Now, shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, tits. It falls apart. It isn't going anywhere. And by now, cocksucker is the dominant word on the list. It's like you're listening to and watching, like, a theatrical stage play right now. But... The material that he's talking about is like, what the hell? This doesn't go together, but it does. Previously, with motherfucker on the list, cocksucker was somewhat balanced out. They were the only multisyllabic words on the list. But now, cocksucker stands alone. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, tits. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe it doesn't belong either. After all, motherfucker turned out to be a ringer. Let's take a look at cocksucker. <laughs> See, if this one belongs, we'll divide the word cock and sucker from each other, those words. Sucker isn't dirty. Sucker? That's, it's suggestive as hell. <laughs> but it isn't dirty. And cock, that's not dirty all the time. That's one of those words that's only partly filthy. Cock, if you're talking about the animal, it's perfectly all right. They used to read that to us from the Bible in third grade. And we would laugh now. <laughs> Cock is in the Bible! Remember the first time you heard about a cock fight? What? No. <laughs> and even the word cocksucker itself has been twisted out of all of its original meaning. It's been distorted. For some reason now, cocksucker means bad man. It's a good woman. How did they do that? <laughs> Oh man, this guy was a genius. Oh.
This was really good. Uh, what George Carlin clips do I need to react to next? Who else from this era do I need to check out? I know I've heard some of uh, Richard Pryor stuff, but with, what other older comedians that I should check out? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Like the video. I love you guys.